in this lesson i will explain to you feature selection techniques of machine learning which is one of the most important topic of machine learning but i will try my best to make it easy first of all before going to start we will discuss actually what is the meaning of feature selection and why we need feature selection so here i have made a very simple example for you i have five different attributes employee id company mileage model and selling price so you can see from here that selling price depends on model mileage company and employee id so we can say simply here that selling price is our target attribute or the dependent variable while others are called the independent variable features or attributes here i have only five features or five attributes but sometimes in our practical life we can have thousands attributes so actually what happens if we give all these attributes to our training data then at the end whatever model we will get that model will be not accurate but we want our model as accurate as possible in machine learning now the question arises why if we will apply all this data to our training data set why we will not get our model accurate because see here some features do not directly relate to the target variable right those features are called the noise so we are also giving noise to the training data set here you can take the example suppose if i will say model and selling price right so model as the model increases the year of the model increases the selling prices also increases so means there is a relation between between these two so we have to select those features which are directly related to our target attribute for that purpose in order to get in order to get those features we can have different methods first method is called the filter methods wrapper methods and and embedded method so in filter methods we will learn information gain method chi square and correlation coefficient these methods we will we had already discussed in our statistics very well but quickly i will explain to you that in filter method we can apply or we will see the correlation between the feature independent variable or the target variable say same example if i will take these two and if suppose here you can see easily that as the model of the vehicle increases the selling price increases but we can have thousand records in our practical life so it will be very difficult to visualize then you can make the graph on excel or python which we had discussed already very well to visualize the data when you will make the graph between these two more or less you will get the straight line some points will be here but mostly you will see here because both are directly related and if you will calculate the correlation between these two variables maybe the correlation is 0.90 because the correlation ranges between 0 to 1 maybe it is 90% 95% or 99% whatever it means we will select this feature similarly now take the example of a mileage as the mileage increases the selling price decreases it means if we are making change in one of our variable the target variable also affects now take the example of our employee id here is employee id 101 103 right and the selling price is 24000 suppose i have an employee that employee id is 5000 what impact this employee id is making to the selling price we cannot say if the employee id is 5000 he can sell the car in 100000 so this is the noise we can not take this feature right so here 
one by one we have to compare our feature with the target attribute or the dependent variable and we will find out the relationship if the relationship exists if the correlation is high then we can pick that feature otherwise that is called the noise we cannot and after that whatever features are remaining if we will give that features to our training set our model will be accurate and this is our objective this is our purpose to make our object to make our model as accurate as possible the second method is called the wrapper methods in wrapper methods we can we can have re, recursive feature elimination or genetic algorithm now what happens here right what these methods do here i can take employee id first of all suppose if i will find out employee id plus selling price i can pick one this and one this attribute and these two attributes i can give to my training set at the end we will receive some model right all this data is called the set but if I will pick this feature and this, this feature, this is called the subset. Now I am going to pick suppose employee ID and company, right? Employee ID and company, these two features. Then I can add the selling price, which is the target attribute. Now I am giving these three features to our training data set. Again, I will get one model, right? Third time I say employee ID company and mileage employee id this will remains the same company and mileage when i will add also the selling price which is the target attribute give this to our training data set again we will get some some kind of model right so next time maybe employee id and model and mileage so you can make the different subset of all these features add with the target attribute give to the training set every time we will receive some model at the end right at the end we will check the accuracy or the score of each model suppose suppose this model the second one has the high accuracy high efficiency or high score so we will pick these features but here you can see we have only five features, but how many subsets we can made? In normal life, when we have thousand features, definitely it will take so much time and it will be expensive. That is why we do not recommend to use the wrapper method. And in wrapper method, again, the overfitting concept applies also here and also here. What is the meaning of overfitting? We had discussed in our previous lesson as well that system tries to consider each and every attribute the straight the line will be not like this the line will be like this right so this method is expensive and time consuming then we will move to the embedded method embedded method we have decision tree and in decision tree we have discussed very well in our python lesson as well quickly i will explain here again but this is the recommended method here this is less expenses and we do not have too much overfitting still we have overfitting but not too much compared to wrapper method right suppose in decision tree here i will offer if i will say i will offer 100k salary to an employee if he accepts the job yes or no if i say no then this note will does not matter we will here we will come here if i say yes then from here we can we can offer okay you have to work eight hours and if we say yes, then we can have more questions. If we say no, then it will stop here, right? So embedded method is the recommended method for, so for the feature selection, right? I hope I tried my best to make this lesson as easy as possible. I hope the concept is clear. Please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next lesson and thank you.